they come under power. And here we go down at turns one and two. Can Alex Stanfield rip around the outside? No. Henry Wheeler holds the lead. Stanfield through the dirt. More drivers off in the dirt. And it is a dust cloud coming out of the turn one two complex. Not sure what all went on there, but definitely not the cleanest of starts. Only a wheel or two dropped though, so no drivers out yet. As we see a move to the inside, move Brandon Carr up Whoa. to second. He'll pot the number 46 machine straight off of the track. Alex Stanfield all of a sudden, his dominating run just got a whole lot harder. He got hip checked there as Carr went through, and now he's all the way behind Josh Hodson at the end of the top 10, trying to get his way back forward. The uh, driver who's dominated the most this weekend, way back as Brandon Carr and Josh Campbell now are going to try and hook up to hunt down Henry Wheeler's Brandon Jarsakrack Racing Lando Norris cart. Brandon Carr certainly not afraid to get his elbows out early here, moving himself all the way up in the second position, starting to run down your leader, Henry Wheeler. The two teammates in second and third hooked up together, trying to chase down that Lando Norris cart out in front. Alex Stanfield, the other driver we expected to be running up the front, has dropped all the way down to P8 after that incident with Carr on the opening lap. Josh Hotz is there in seventh, and Stanfield's on his tail through the final corner, trying to work his way back forward. Look at Carr, a little bit of adjustment there on the carburetor here he comes inside not enough there at the end of the straightaway just pounded the limiter at the last second and he'll smartly back out of that one live to fight another day as he backs up into josh campbell but look to the inside aiden fox what a move there for third won't quite complete that he'll get crossed over and move josh campbell back up into third spot good fights already as they come out of the corner side by side that'll give brandon carr a little bit of gap to work with to go and attack henry wheeler who is still out front leading this race. Yeah, about two car lengths, the gap here for Henry Wheeler back to Brandon Carr as third and fourth are gonna trade spots again. This time Fox, cell tower corner, clear, and the number 13, Fox and Son carding machine. Brandon Carr rolled that uh, shark fin Monza corner pretty nicely. He's still about a car length or two away, but he needs to set up for maybe a, a low speed kind of pass. It seems like that end of the straightaway is not gonna work out for him. Almost, oh, he had a little look there going to turn eight. Didn't do it, but he's definitely close enough for something if he can get the run through nine and 10. Here he goes through the flat out kink. Can Carr throw it down the inside? Not this time. Duchak might come under fire. Carr close enough to Wheeler. He's gonna push him though. Down to turn number two. Stanfield to the inside and clear on Nick Turlecki. For the team GWR Gillard, it's taking him a minute to carve through the field as now Aiden Fox is carving. P2 for the number 13. Aiden Fox being so much quicker than the race later. He, in theory, should hunt him down within about a half lap, but not with a mistake like that. Drop the left rear tire off the racetrack. Does it again coming on the front straightaway. He's trying to get some help from Carr. I think Carr is going to give him one more opportunity to keep going, but if he makes mistakes like that, Henry Wheeler, we've seen him pull away with Stanfield. He might do it again as Stanfield gets into the top five. He gets around Duchak, and now he's only one more driver away from getting back to the guy who sent him down the pack. Brandon Carr, who rides in third. Aiden Fox continuing to get closer and closer to Henry Wheeler uh, through the uh, double rights over to turn number 11, a car length back. Seven minutes and 20 seconds plus two laps to go as they head down through the double or the right hander and over to the final few corners. Aiden Fox showing a lot of speed. He'll go to the inside. Aiden Fox to the lead of this race. Your new OKN Stars leader, Aiden Fox, makes the pass in one of the 90s. We have not seen many passes there this weekend, but he gets it done on Henry Wheeler, takes the lead, and Henry Wheeler close up to his rear bumper as they look to check out from the drivers behind. It is now a three-cart battle at the front with Brandon Carr, Following in tow, Josh Campbell coming under pressure from Alex Stanfield in that fifth position. While Stanfield, Stanfield threw on Josh Campbell for P4 in the cell tower. Nick Turlecki tried to follow, he could not. And look at that, down the inside goes Nicholas Turlecki. He'll make the move on Josh Campbell. What a day! Welcome to the Stars Championship Series Winner's Circle for the very first time! Aiden Fox and the Fox and Son Karting Team are winners and they are kings of the castle in OKN Stars! Aiden Fox wins in Newcastle!